Hello, this is Levi. Today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble your four-foot Adirondack swing. So we're going to start with the seat here and the arm. And I'm going to grab one of the short bolts and a washer. Slide the washer on first there. Go ahead and stick it through here. And then just stand this up. And it'll slide, it should line up with the hole right there. Push that through. And then we'll get out another washer and a nut. And the washer will go on first there. And then the nut. We'll grab another short bolt and a washer. I should slide through there. And another washer and a nut. Washer always goes on first. We'll just do them finger tight for now, and then when we get done, we'll tighten everything down. And now we grab the long eye bolt there. And we're going to go ahead and hook the run the swing of the chain through the hole in the arm there, and run it through the. Oh, and there we've got two different sizes. The long one goes on the bottom here. And that'll run through there. All right, in. And then we'll grab the, the washer and the nut. And the washer will go in first there. And then the nut. Then we'll tighten that down with a 9 16 cents wrench then when we're done as well. And we'll do the same thing on this other side here. All right, so we'll grab a short bolt and the washer. The washer on first there. Should line up there in that hole. Push that through. And that should line up with the hole here in the seat there. Push that through. And we'll grab the washer, we'll go in first. And then the nut. And another short bolt and a washer. And then the washer will go in first again. And then the nut. And I'll grab another of the the long chain here. And that'll feed through the hole in the arm here. Go ahead and stick this through the hole there. All right, the chain up. And then the washer will go on first there. And then the nut. All righty, perfect. All righty, now we get to attach the back to the seat here. So we're gonna start by picking that up. And we'll just set it across that bottom brace there. And it fits pretty snug, so you get to push pretty hard to make these cross back through there. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna have one of the long bolts and a washer. And then I'll go through the hole right here in the arm, and that should line up with the hole here in the back. I'm going to put the washer on first and then the nut, and the same with the other side here. Grab a long bolt and a washer, slide in, the holes will line up there. Then the washer will go on first. And then the nut. And then we've got these two here need to go in yet, so we'll grab a short bolt and a washer. All right, once you got that through there, we'll grab a, a washer will go on first. And then the nut. And another short bolt. And the washer. Slide right through there. Another washer first, and then the nut. While we're here, we'll go ahead and stick in the other uh, eye bolt. Go ahead and slide that through there. And the washer will go on first, and then the nut. And we're gonna tuck the chain up before you tighten it down. So we'll get it through. And then the same on this side here. Just grab the bolt and a washer. Slide line up there. And the washer will go on first, and then the nut. 
And then another bolt and a washer. And the washer will go on first. And then the nut. And we'll do this with eyeballs here as well. chain on there, slide it through, the washer on first, and then the nut. And then we'll take a 9 16 inch wrench and we'll tighten these high bolts down here. Same on the side here. Well, I've got this wrench, I'll go ahead and do the, these eye bolts here as well. One more here on this side. All right, and the rest of them we'll tighten down with a 9 16 inch wrench. The rest of the bolts there. You don't want to do them too tight, uh, just good and snug. Put them fairly tight. Don't over tighten them. All right, and there you have it.